Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, Keto Twins. Twins. We've lost over 160 pounds combined so far following a ketogenic lifestyle, and it's our mission to help you with your weight loss goals. So please subscribe for more keto content. So the holiday season is upon us. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And it's the most wonderful time to try some new recipes. These are questionable recipes to us because we just don't know if they're going to turn out well. So we thought we'd bring you along for the ride. So it's a very controversial topic, um, this one, this recipe, but it's- It may trigger some people. It may trigger some people. But when we were growing up, we absolutely loved canned cranberry sauce. So that's what we will be making today. It's the jellied kind, the one that's like a dollar at the grocery store and so sweet, but um, I can't remember a time that I didn't have that for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I remember I think one, one time my mom forgot to buy it and it was a travesty. So we thought let's make a keto version of it. And we actually did find a recipe that we're going to try. We've never worked with gelatin before, so it should be fun. And of course, we're going to link the original recipes to these below. We might be tweaking them a little bit based on what we have around um, our houses. So we decided to ask last week what you guys miss on keto. And you know, there's lots of recipes out there. They're amazing for keto stuffing and keto green bean casserole. So we were looking for something a little different. So we asked you guys on our community tab and Calgary guy said that he missed his wife's yam potato casserole, which is pretty much sweet potato casserole that has brown sugar in it. So I looked on the internet and I did come across a recipe. I think it's by Wholesome Yum that uh, has butternut squash and cauliflower mocking a sweet potato casserole with pecans on top. And I thought, let's try that and see if it actually tastes like what it says it's going to taste like. So we're going to be calling this episode Testing Keto Recipes Holiday Edition. Since the canned cranberry sauce is gonna take the longest because it has to cook and you know also solidify at the end, we're gonna do that first. This recipe is from Keto and Pearls, and like we said earlier, we'll link this one in the description below. So we're gonna take a 12 ounce bag of fresh cranberries and heat it up and then add like the sweetener and stuff like that. We're not gonna give you the full measurements because we want you to check out the recipe below. So let's get to work here. So we're gonna be slightly tweaking this recipe. We're gonna be adding a little bit of orange zest. I don't know, how much is this, Emily? About a tablespoon. A tablespoon of orange zest. And we're also going to be using a little bit of orange juice just from that orange um, here. It's probably a couple tablespoons, that's about it. We're not gonna be using too much because orange juice does have a lot of sugar in it. All right, so that's pretty much it. We're going to let this simmer on the stove top until these berries start bursting, and then we're gonna strain it and we'll do the next step. All right, so now we're going to start making our butternut squash, cauliflower, sweet potato casserole. And I'm really excited about this recipe because it has roasted pecans on the top, which I'm really excited about. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut up this butternut squash. How do you cut up a butternut squash? I have no idea. I'm going to wing it it's odd. It's oddly shaped. Honestly, I don't eat much butternut squash. Do you? No. I don't think I've ever had it, to be honest. Please don't cut your finger off. Are you going to peel it? That's a good point. All right. I'm going to peel it, and then I'm going to dice it. I'm going to slice it, then I'm going to dice it, I think. Okay, some of these are starting to burst. That's good, keep that going. So what have we learned so far? Buy pre-cubed butternut squash. Yeah, that's a good way, good way to think about it. I was gonna say, try to cut it down to more manageable pieces so that you don't cut yourself or cut your finger oh, off. Oh, there's seeds in it. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense, it's a vegetable. This is always the part I hated when carving pumpkins. Scraping the guts out. Mm -hmm. How do you like this angle, Emily? You think it's gonna be good? I know that you wanna seek your revenge on me. 
So it's been about five years and I finally cubed the whole butternut squash. I have about a small bag of uh, cauliflower florets, about 12 ounces of cauliflower florets that are pre-cut. Um, I put on some olive oil and um, I'm just gonna put salt. Um, pepper and um, a little bit of ground cinnamon. Maybe like just a sprinkling. I'm probably going to adjust this to taste um, as this recipe goes along. Just a little bit. Seems weird, but I think that it's going to give you that feeling of Sweet potato. All right, so this is going to go into the oven after you mix it. I'm going to bake this for at least 30 minutes and I'll flip it midway through. That is a huge tray of vegetables. All right, and here we have our cranberries. Looks like they're almost all popped. We're gonna give this a couple more minutes and uh, we'll be back to show you what to do next. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 20 minutes on a very low heat and the cranberry started bursting. So we went in there with this little masher and we're just going in and trying to get all of the juices out of these cranberries. Pour away from your clothes. <laughs> okay. And now we're just gonna let this drain and I'm gonna slightly push on it to get all of that moisture out because that's the good stuff. So Emily and I are having a debate about how we should put the gelatin in. Um, we really don't want to dilute this mixture too much. Um, we have about two cups of the cranberry juice in here and we're trying to figure out how we're gonna dissolve the gelatin. So you need four, four We need cup. four cups of total. So we're trying to do two cups of hot water two cups of the cranberry mixture and then a packet of this gelatin stuff. It seems like the easier the recipe, the more intimidating it is for me for some reason. Oh, Ooh, quickly. I thought you're supposed to just let it stand for one minute. Well, it's already chunking. Stir it with a whisk, whisk it. I don't want it to go everywhere and stain my entire house. I'm just gonna keep stirring in hopes that it, it dissolves. I mean, okay, our fault. I mean, so while I was sprinkling the gelatin, Emily said to me, why is it not clear, the camera? So when I looked, it was not on automatic focus or whatever. And so I took my eyes off of this thing and I started putting the autofocus back on the camera. And when I came back, it started to clump. So you cannot do anything else but uh, follow this recipe, you must pay attention to the gelatin and make sure that it is actually dissolving. Otherwise you're gonna have chunks of gelatin in your cranberry sauce. We are making all the mistakes so that you people don't have to, pretty much. Okay, we're gonna try to strain it to get the big chunks of gelatin out. Normally this would set in like a pan uh, for five hours, but we're actually gonna put them, um, we're actually gonna make individual little serving sizes using the silicone mold. We'll link it in the description below. This is the same mold that we use to make those little candies that we made a couple weeks ago. If you guys wanna watch that video, we'll link it after this one. But um, pretty much we're gonna make a little cranberry domes. Do I have room in my refrigerator? All right, sorry, I have butternut squash in my teeth because it's actually really good by itself. But anyway, let's make it extra special. Here we have some pecans. Um, we have a little bit of the Lakanto, what is it called? Brunch. Golden. Golden Lakanto, it's about a tablespoon. We have the pecans that we've put pulsed in the food processor. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, probably like a tablespoon. So this is the crumble that goes on top. Doesn't that look good? I bet you this would be good as a pie crust. Yeah, definitely. Yum. 
a little bit of cinnamon, maybe a just a splash of this Lakanto maple syrup. This is not in the recipe, by the way. <laughs> this is just what we're doing. We're experimental here on Keto Twins. Okay. So we have this Ninja Blender that Sarah has, and we're going to be putting these in there. Um, you might have to do this in batches, depending on how big your implement is. Device? Your device, your food processor, your blender. They're very, very soft. It's kind of good. I mean, it's, it's more flavor. Yeah. I'm going to try to push it all in there. I don't know. This is a high powered blender, isn't it? Yeah. Let's test the limits of this thing. Oh, shit, that was stuck there. Sarah, stop eating it. Ooh, that one's crispy. <laughs> I'm going to just drizzle in um, another tablespoon of butter. I'm just gonna check the consistency. I'm going to kind of push it down, make sure that it's all getting in there. Ooh, it looks good. It smells delicious. To give it that real brown sugar flavor, I'm adding a tablespoon of this swerve. It's the closest thing I've found to being like brown sugar. It looks like brown sugar. It tastes like brown sugar. So that's what I have left in this. It's pretty sweet by itself, like. That's about a tablespoon of it. I'm gonna put it in this dish. Remember, this is half cauliflower. But you can't tell, can you? And I bet you can't even tell. You think it's uh, sweet potato. <laughs> it's awesome. I can tell that this is gonna be a staple favorite for my household. We're gonna add this crumble on top. Doesn't that look delicious? If the jello cranberry fails, at least we have this. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the oven for like 15 to 20 minutes to keep an eye on it. Um, you just want, it's pretty much, it's cooked, so you just want this to kind of be all bubbly and golden. The pecans are already roasted, so it might take less than 15 minutes. So it's been 20 minutes and we're gonna check to see how it looks. Ooh. Hmm. It looks and smells so good. I can't wait to try it. It's really good. It fools me. I, I would think that this was sweet potato. Honey, would you like to try some of our casserole and tell us what it tastes like? I would. Okay, come on over. Get you a little help in here. It's a faux sweet potato casserole. Hmm. I used to make this the real version with sugar. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hot. It's so hot. I'll be the judge. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm. Mm hmm. There's no sweet potato in it though. It's really close, it tastes like a potato. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's butternut squash. Mm -hmm. And cauliflower. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like choking on it. <laughs> it's thick. <laughs> By this time, you, you know if our uh, cranberry jelly worked out or not. If it didn't, I would just like the recipe author to know that we can't do math, so that's why. <laughs> it's um, probably not their fault. It wasn't their fault at all. It seemed to be going well. Um, I'm just, cons I'm pretty much saying that we we're gonna fail, by the way. Like, it doesn't look good, but you know what? It's only been one hour, it needs six hours at least. So hopefully it will start to firm up and hopefully it tastes good. But the faux sweet potato casserole oh my turned God. out to be delicious. I'm just gonna call it what it is, which is a butternut squash cauliflower casserole. Mash. Mash. Casserole. Is it a casserole? 
Isn't a casserole just a bunch of stuff mixed up in a pan and baked? Yeah, true, I guess. What helps is to keep it down is the um, addition of the cauliflower as being half of the ingredient. You really can't taste it all that much, but it adds that bulk without adding all those extra carbs. Anyway, so I hope that um, you enjoyed watching us uh, succeed or fail. Thanks so much for watching. And if you guys wanna see uh, the video where we made keto candies, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. I'm Emily. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out.